Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I have a I had a dream, and I would like to share it. And I also will give Bible scriptures out. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for this dream. I pray, Lord, that it uh, it reaches the ears that need to hear this message, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus over this message, Lord, and I thank you, Lord, for even giving this dream to me, Lord. I praise your holy name, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Amen. The dream started off. Um, I was at this graduation and I was the one that was graduating and I was mixed in with a whole different, a whole bunch of different people. And this girl came around, um, she had a hat, she was giving out hats and the hats had meanings. And, um, I can't remember exactly what her hat, what her hat said, but it was something of the world and they were just party and excited. And she gave me a hat and the hat says, trust me trust no science and so um at the last minute i was told that um i had to get on stage in front of everybody in the crowd and give a word and um about my head or whatever and so when i got on stage it was two people in front of me it was this girl she was on stage she was already talking to the crowd and whatever she was telling to the crowd it was something of the world and the crowd was just shouting and uh screaming and everything and it was a, a man in front of me and the man that was in front of me, he was drunk and he was trying to talk to me um, about the world. And, and basically he was trying to persuade me to um, don't be scared, but at the same time, be kind of afraid because I'm going to talk in front of a crowd. But he was drunk. He was, as he was telling me this, he was like, yeah, you don't need to worry about them. But if you don't have nothing to say, that's how he his eyes when he was just, that's what he was doing. If you don't have nothing to say, you know, just turn around. So he was just basically saying a lot of stuff that I was just like, okay. But I didn't care what I had to say. I was just going to um, depend on the word. So as when he got finished, um, it was my turn. And my head, and, this, and I said, my head reads, um, trust no science. I said, and I know a lot of people is trying to figure out that, um, why do I say trust no science or, you know, why do I believe trust no science? And I said, because I trust in the Lord. I said, in, in today's world, you're putting your trust in people and in science. And I said, but no one is hearing from the Lord. Put all your trust and all your heart and all your might into the Lord and he will take care of you. And so upon me giving a message and letting the Lord just flow from me, um, what the message was, was about um, trusting in the Lord, no one wanted to hear it. I actually, <clears throat> the crowd, when I when I finished, the crowd just stared in shock. Like, how dare she get up here and say this? Why is she saying it? We don't care anything about the Lord. We don't care that you put your trust in the Lord. <clears throat> We're just going to continue to listen to man and whatever the man's whatever men say, we're gonna continue to listen. And as I walked off, I'm talking about no church, no clapping, no screaming, no hallelujah, no amen, no nothing. It was absolutely silence. And so God is saying that during this time a lot of people are they don't want to hear the word of God. Even though we are talking and warning, they don't want to hear the word of God, but you don't stop. The scriptures that I have um, I would lo love for you guys to go back and read Proverbs 3 and 5 and 6, Psalms 56 and 3, Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8, John 10 and 27, John 8 and 47. I actually wanted to read that, John 8 and 47. And it says that he that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Keep that in mind. John 16, 13, and I also want to read to you guys Romans 1, 28, and it says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do th those things which are not convenient. So I don't only want you to stop at 28, I want you to read down to 32. Um, and of course, children of this of darkness, you know, read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5, you can go down to 8. But I gave these scriptures out because I would like for you guys to research yourself. Be blessed.